Welcome back to the channel. Today we have got a right good one. We've got a double stack fuse ball to install, trunk in, 25mm three quart armour to make off. Let's get it done. Let's take you through it. We are pretty much going to be in this cupboard the whole time. So we have got all our Rayco switch lines. We have got all our power, all the data, speakers, security alarm, and also a 25mm three core armoured to terminate. This is the setup we're gonna sort of go with. So, we're gonna have trunking, 100 by 50, come down here, drop down here to do all the comms. Then we're gonna have another drop with a T-piece, and then below the T-piece is gonna be our double stack Hager fuse board. And then next to that, we are gonna have another drop of 100 by 50 plastic trunking to house all our Rayco panels. So we are just gonna get everything prepped, ready and set up and take you through it. So sit back, relax, enjoy, grab some popcorn and let's do it. Let's walk through everything we've got. So we've got three lengths of the 100 by 50 plastic trunk in, the double stack Hager fuse board, a type two surge protection device and then all the RCBOs, 32 amps, 20 amps, tens and sixes a pack of the fire grommets to go in the back of the board a gland for the 25 mil armored and we're also going to have some uni strut to pack the board off so that is everything we have got material wise trunking wise for all the com stuff i've just allowed that 700 off the floor for the actual comms rack so then we're gonna finish the trunk in just above, well, just above the comms rack and then all the cables can be socked and go into the back of the comms rack. But we're just gonna get that car set square to get a straight line the whole way around the trunk in. And then we use the grinder to cut it. Tins wires probably go 100 off the end, then 600 and then do the same on the other end. So we go 100, 600. I know a lot of people will say, why don't you just blast it straight through, but you're never gonna see the fixing result. I like everything to be perfect. If all the fixing holes are lined up, it looks 10 times better. We just get a little speedy bit I think they're about four mil. We zip two holes through there to get a sturdy fixing. I think when you put only one in, I think the fixing ain't that great. So we put two in either side of the trunk in. Put two in either side of the trunk in and that'll give it a great little fixing. Hoping that the contractors applied the wall. That just makes it double handy. It's just plasterboard, right? makes it so much longer. We've got to sort out all the cables, get them into their sections. So all the speakers together, all the data, all the coaxes together. So they come down the trunk in nice and neat. Whoa, there's loads to sort out. And then we can actually get the trunk in up for all the common stuff. Right, trunk in is done. We've separated all the data cables, speaker cables, coax cables. It's a bit tight, but we managed to get the trunk in, in, got it nice and level with the laser, just fixed it with some little wood screws. There's ply behind it as well, so that's a great touch. So now we'll get that lidded up and then that bit's all sorted. We ain't got to worry about that anymore. And then we'll start getting the trunking up for the DB and get the armoured all done. This armoured comes in so bloody awkward as well. It's just like, there's no, not much movement on it. So what I think I'm gonna have to do first is mount the board and then do all the containment and see where we're at. So we're gonna get the Unistrut up. We're just fixing the board with 21 mil Unistrut to pack it off. So we've got a nice entrance for all the cables to go in behind. So let's get the Unistrut on and then go from there. Unistrut on. So now we just need to make sure we do it center of each of the holes. 
So that is 30, 31 and a half, I reckon we get that. So center, center of the unit shot between each one. 31 and a half. So then it goes level, nice and level. So now we're just going to put the board up where we want it, bite it up against the trunking, and then mark our fixing hole. So that is where we're going to stick the uni strap. Make sure it's nice and level. And mark all the fixing holes, and that you're going to know it's where the uni strap will sit. Uni strap is up. We just done. Um, Wood screws, M6 penny washers. Got the laser out as well, so we can get that absolutely bang on. So the board sits perfect, level, all level straight, looking lovely. Now we're gonna get the board up. Now we can get the board up there. Get the board up there, M6 Zebs, washers, and that is job done. Now time to mount the fuse board. We're using M6 Zebs, get rid of the spring. We don't need that. M6 roofing bolts, washer. And they just go on just like that. So that'd be our fixing into the uni strut. So we can get just four of them, two at the top, two at the bottom. And we're also using these Hager, Hager Fire Grommets. Cable entry plate, Hager cable entry plate, instead of the grommet strip. I feel like it just stays in there so much better than grommet strip. So we can get these things in and then get the board mounted. Mounted. I mean, that is sturdy as anything, that is never coming off. So just fixed it with the M6 bolt sets, washers, all nice and level. So now we can get the trunk in. I think I'm gonna to have to drop down there and see it across that way because this armor's gonna to have to sit and come in the top of the ball here. So let's get all the trunking in. just a bit short because obviously we've got the armor coming down this side we need to gland it off here so we're just going to cut it a bit short and then bite it right up to that slot that out and then that will be our cable entry into there we will slot the bottom of this trunking out as well so that will be our entry for all our cables into the back of the bolt. What I'm going to do for this trunking that's going on top of the board the uni struts 21 mil so I'm going to set the set square to 20 mil and I'm just going to glide along here and mark that up and then that is the amount I need to take out the bottom but I don't want it flapping about in the wind so we are, that's the, that's the edge of the board we're going to come in just a tad probably about 30 mil 30 mil that way as well and that will be our notch out. Trunking is all up, T pieces in. We slotted that out for the cable entry and now we can get down there. So we're gonna have to start getting our cables in one by one. I think, so obviously the main switch is probably gonna end down here. So we're gonna have the bigger loads starting down here, working our way up. So we end with probably all the radio stuff, all the lighting stuff at the top, the kitchen stuff, and all the power at the bottom. So we'll start getting the cables in. The board now, all the lighting. We've got two more cables to go in this top bit for the heating, but the cylinder isn't even in yet. So we'll do them after, but all the power cables are at the bottom. Finally got them in, took a little while, but they're all in. Also shortened these ones down, relay with these for the ray pipe. So now we are gonna make this off into the top of air, and then that is our mains into the board. 
and we'll get all these second fixed. Lovely. I've got to mention, but when you're putting in cables, whatever way you want your breakers to be going, so your RTBOs, so hop starting first, working your way up to the lighting, and always put your cables in that way. So we start with a hob, and then we have the rings, and then we literally go in the same order that we're gonna have our breakers. That way they just flow into the breakers nice and neat. Armoured, got the armoured all made off, roof and nut and bolt, earth that. That's all done and dusted, shroud on that eventually. Got the cables down there ready to go into the main switch. Bit of a pain in the arse getting them in, but got them in. This earth, 25 mil earth into the earth bar, ready to go. Now we're just gonna start stripping the cables back one by one, get all the earths into the earth bar first and then get the dim rail on, get the breakers in and then second fix the live neutrals. This is the schedule, rings first and then the kitchen stuff, the heating, the BT, lighting and then the alarm. So I'm not sure if this will be part two or what, but what I do when it comes to second fixing board, so I'll put this bit in a drill, put on low, and then we undo all the screws, all the air screws. It just speeds up everything 10 times more. I suppose it's sort of like using electric screwdrivers, vessel screwdrivers. Once they're all undone, and we start stripping these back. We strip one back, then we sharp it, corresponding to our list. So the process, just strip this cable. Now we can earth sleeve it, get it all sleeved up. Once it's sleeved up, we can then chop it. And then we will label then we will label the cable with a little dash so it'll just be a little dash for one and then we do the same process for all the cables going along so we're just going to work through this get all the earths in and have checking with you in a minute right we've got all the earths in now so we just loop them round leave the slack just up there, hide the slack up there. And then we just get all the breakers in with the fly leads at the neutrals. We just put them behind, in between the cables, put them into the neutral bar. And then we just second fix the live and neutral straight over the fly leads. And then all that will be second fixed. Now we can just go one by one, get the lines and neutrals, put a bend in them. Put a bend in them and then you can iron it off the gray part, not to snip it, cut it with compass, strip the ends, and then once they're stripped, you can just turn it into the gray part. Then we do that for every single one, try and get them as neat as possible as well. That's all the bottom half wrapped up. We've got the surge earth to put in. Don't forget this, the amount of times I nearly forgot to put this in, but that will eventually just go into the earth bar. But the bottom half's all done. We need to wait. We're just waiting on a few more breakers, some B10s for the Rayco circuits. So, probably gonna do a part two. So, we do a part two. I'll catch you on part two. Make sure you subscribe, like, comment, and I'll catch you on the next one.